Oh, DC Comics, why do you want me to lose all my money? Yes, so today, uh, Jeff Johns decided to give out the details of my death. And for anybody who wants to know what that is, you can click on the link in the description or you can watch this video. I suggest you watch this video because I'm going to give you some uh, insight from somebody that is experiencing this firsthand. So we're just going to jump right into it. So a couple weeks ago, um, some some of the big guys at DC Comics on their Twitter accounts, they posted this photo just of just the word rebirth. And since then, there have been tons of speculation about what it could mean, you know, rebirth. Uh, everybody, you know, most of the, of the thoughts were, you know, relaunch of the entire DC universe starting with number ones. And um, in the comics, not the movies or the TV shows, just the comics. And, and in some sense, they were right. Because today, um, Jeff Johns, he came out and he said what everything means from rebirth at a convention in Seattle for um, comic book retailers, people that own comic book shops and everything like that. So I'm gonna, I'm here to tell you the details of it, um, what's going on, and maybe if you didn't understand some of it, you can learn from this video right here. So he started out by saying that he wants to return DC Comics, so it's not him, but everybody at DC Comics wants to return, and they want to, they want legacy back in their comic books. They want they want the characters to be the best that they absolutely can and they want to get rid of the comics that aren't doing so well and shouldn't really be uh, having their own comic books so he says that there is legacy that's missing and he wants to put that in with all new number ones they are redoing all the comic books that they have the number ones except for action comics and detective comics and if you guys will remember in 2011 for the new 52 they redid Action Comics and Detective Comics. They started those out with number one in 2011, and they ended out they ended off the, like 800 or 600 issues of each one because you know they've been going since 1939 or whatever. So they um so they decided to end the New 52 Detective Comics and Action Comics and return to the story of Action Comics and Detective Comics. And let me see what uh, issues there are with the Action Comics and the uh detective comics so action comics is at 957 they're going to like it stopped at 956 action comics and then now they're but then they stopped in 2011 and then now they're picking up again because they decide action comics needs to stay in that one run and they're doing the same with detective comics and that one is they stopped at 933 and now they're starting uh in may when is this? I'm, I'm so lost on my facts because there's so much. But in June, those two are shipping out. And Detective Comics is going to start with 934. So, um, I mean, that's a cool, that's something cool that is an idea. Because those two comics have been the center of Batman and the center of Superman. Since, you know, that's how they got, you know, their start throughout the years. And, you know, that was a Batman comic. That was a Superman comic, even though the titles weren't. Batman or Superman. So Jeff also said that Jeff, um, first name basis, but he also said that um, there's going to be one one shot issue, and um, it's going to come out May 25th, and it's going to tell the story of what Rebirth is and what it's an 80 page special one shot. So it's gonna just tell you a huge story about what is going on and why they're doing this, but it's going to be a comic book form in the DC Comics universe. So. It's not really going to be like an information thing from like the CEO or the CFO, which Jeff John is from, or he's the CCO, but it's not going to be from them. It's going to be told as a comic book perspective from a comic book character point of view. I'm not sure how they're going to do it. If it's going to be from Batman and Superman. Okay, like I was saying before my camera cut off, the, um, we don't know how it's going to be done, the one shot, but it's going to be done. And it's going to be in a comic book form, not not knowing anything about who's going to be telling the story. Although we know Jeff Johns is going to write it, and he seems like he's the most informed about it, so it's good that he's writing it. Now, another big part of this whole rebirth thing. Um, in the past, comics have been from the New Fifty Two. They have been two ninety nine to three ninety nine in the pr price range, and some have even gone to like seven ninety nine for like special one shots or something. It was ridiculous almost. And there were even talks about bringing Batman up to four ninety nine a month. I think there was one issue. I, I don't know where this are. I wanted to look, but uh, they were put away. But there was one issue of Batman where they were going up to four ninety nine as the price for him anyway. And like. They finally came to their senses and they decided every comic issue is going to be mark marked down at $2.99. But here's a twist. Like, you know, there's always there can't just be something good. 
comics, um, I'm gonna put the link in the description so you guys can go look at the comics and when they're coming out. But, um, uh, all of them, I think. I don't know, I'm very not informed about this, so I shouldn't be making this video. But most of them are, I'm just gonna say all of them for the sake of it, they're all coming out twice a month. So, it was either $3.99 a month or $2.99 two times a month. So, it doesn't really make sense. Like, it's like we're paying a dollar for an extra comic a month, like right now, but it's fine with me. Like, I'd rather have it like that. I think because it's gonna pressure me to get a job and make more money. So, it's good that that's happening. And I think that it's a way to get people in, you know, interested in them because, you know, at $3.99, people, you know, oh, you're like, I don't wanna buy them. Like, that's what I would do with like comic books. I would go in there and only buy the $2.99, you know, like Sinestro's and, you know, The Flash. Before that was $3.99. But, um, yeah, I think that's a good way for to get new readers interested in your know, $2.99 in comic is not bad, so it's better than $3.99 or even $4.99. They said um, at the conference or the wherever they were at that um, they needed to bring down the price so the DC fans would trust them again. And that is something that I can totally agree with because DC Comics, I, I need to trust them again because after um, I stopped reading comic books for like a couple months because it was, it was getting so... Um, in my face with just so many and 3.99s and 2.99s and 4.99s and just every week they wanted to come out and it just got too much for me and I kind of lost confidence in what they were doing and with Future's End it wasn't that cool and I was just hoping that it, they would come back around and it seems like they are doing this right now so they are getting my trust back with the price point and they're getting my trust back with the story of what they're actually doing with the Rebirth. Now all the comics are not like a lot of comics um, are going to come out as one shot specials like um, uh, Aquaman, Batman, Flash, Green Lanterns, um, The Era, Superman, Titans, One on, and all like other ones like that are gonna come out as one shots. And there are some of like um, other ones that are on that list that are not gonna be full uh, series. And that's something that I can get behind because you know I want a story, I want everybody's perspective of this, and then I want them to cut off fat and just leave us with the lean meat of the good big characters that they want to start with, like Batman, Superman, Aquaman, like the um, the issues that they're starting with, the ones shipping twice monthly. The first ones hitting the shelves are Aquaman, Batman, Flash, Green Arrow, Green Lanterns. Green Lanterns is weird because it's not Green Lantern, so it's going to be about the core, my guess, and then Superman, and then Wonder Woman, and those are the ones that are coming out. The first ones, those are the big haters, and those are the ones that they're seeing, you know, how it's going to do it. And I think it's going to do very well because I've stopped re reading comics. Like last time I got comics was like a month ago, and you know, I just picked them up but like when this starts coming I'll probably you know get back into it they'll see more traction and fans and they'll see more of people going in there twice a week to get those comics and I think that will gain trust in this for them I don't even know what I'm talking about but hopefully you guys know what I'm talking about because when I watch back these videos I, I'm always like okay I kind of see where I, where I was coming from but right now I don't even remember what I was saying 10 seconds ago so hopefully you guys can understand my uh, rambling and then there's gonna be uh, the next week's ones, which are gonna be Batgirl, Batgirl, and the Birds of Prey, which is weird. Like, Batgirl's a big character that I guess they're bringing in. Um, Hellblazer, uh, Red Hood and Outlaws, uh, Superman with a dash, and Queen Superman, like, man, that's weird. And then there's just gonna be a bunch of other comics that you guys can go look at in the link down below. And I guess that's really it. There's nothing really to say else because we don't have that much information. So I could, all I can tell you right now is that there's gonna be a one shot, um, 2.99, 80 page special that's going to come out at the end of May, and it's gonna tell like what what's going on with this whole rebirth thing. There's gonna be a bunch of new number ones that I can't afford and DC Comics wants to ruin my life with, and that um, there's gonna be a lot of new fans coming into it, and that's all I could say for sure. And tell me in the comments below what comic you are most interested in seeing. Um, on the shelves come the new ones and leave a like I guess whatever you guys want to do please share this video to get other people informed to get more people reading comics so more things happen and more people are informed and not just going to see the movies and not just watching the TV shows because when you watch those it's just you know you have the characters but you want to know more and more about them so just make sure everybody sees this and everybody buys the comics and everybody does this and let them read your comic book so they're inclined to buy their own and just everything about it so i will see you guys in the next video tell me what you want me to talk about and i will see you guys again later see ya